The Red River District is losing tenants due to COVID-19. NBC 6's Zainaria Bird joins us now live from there, sharing a look at what it will take to get the entertainment district back to full capacity. Zain, good evening. Good evening, Dan. DDA Executive Director says that the foot traffic here in this area has died down due to the construction in downtown and COVID-19. And she says that it's become a nightmare for the businesses here. We've got a total of nine spaces in the Red River District. Currently, three of them are filled. Just a few years ago, the Red River District was at full occupancy. Liz Swain, executive director of the DDA, says over the last two years, business owners in the Red River District have endured multiple issues impacting foot traffic in the area. We had about 18 months of construction on the Texas Street Bridge, which is right above us. A lot of the equipment was positioned in the Red River District, which made it look like the Red River District was closed. Along with Spring Street Bridge being closed down in COVID-19. We started off pretty good, but due to COVID, it has really slowed down. We could really see a difference in the traffic down here. So it's kind of disheartening, but you just try to keep pushing and keep going. But according to Liz Swain, the city of Shreveport is giving businesses a break when paying their lease. And rent spaces are ranging from $400 a month to more than $5,000 a month. They understand that COVID is really hurting these businesses, and so they have been willing to defer, in some cases, lease payments to allow these businesses to get over it. But the no foot traffic and COVID has businesses getting creative to stay afloat. Um, we do take home kits. Usually we have, you know, pain events here. And because of COVID, to keep everyone safe, we kind of slack down on that. Nina Mitchell, owner of Art Tipsy, says with the businesses leaving the Red River District, it's slowing down the foot traffic. It's, it's hard just trying to get people to come down here and just to stay open. So that's the difficult part. We're trying to, you know, keep our money coming in to, you know, to pay the rent and stay afloat. And according to Swain, there is a sale going on for open spaces and some are potentially free until the end of the year based on the lease signed. Back to you. Changing landscape down there, no doubt. Sign, thanks. Well, it's not